welcome back folks to Let's Play Back to the Future the Game. Now, if you can see continue, that's not the first time I've played this game, but this is episode 3. Uh, I can't, there's a few trophies in here, that quite a few trophies in here actually, and there's some of them I can't remember how to do, some I can't, but this is episode 3, Citizen Brown, and this is part 1. I'm trying to get all these out at once, I'm trying to record a lot of them at once, so I've just finished recording the episode 2, I'm going to start recording episode 3 now, just so I've got them all out at once really. Where we left off? Ooh, she looks hot. I knew those just legs. Oh, she does look hot. Definitely. Done you, Music that loud, you don't hear a car crushing. Alright then. Back to the future. Again. Episode 3, Citizen Brown. Now, obviously, we've screwed up somewhere, well not in the game itself but Marty screwed up and changed the timeline to something worse than reverse Citizen Brown. Well maybe not worse because the worst one last time was alternate bit bloody tannin gang. This probably wasn't the best thing but this doesn't look too good either. Comparisons. Are we alive Marty? I'm from that from Friday to be the safest fellow and wasn't. Duck! Relax! We've got everything under control. Have you really when you first. Citizen Brown, that's Doc alright, but what the heck's going on here? I'm only doing the same thing. This is the dumbest design ever. Uh, hello? She can't hear me. Don't worry, everybody. I'm okay. The billboard broke my fall. <laughs> that actually reminds me of, um, uh, Cross, a weirdly enough, Cross Transanity, uh, where, uh, you're in the training level and Co Cortex is, is like, uh, dressed up as Coco, and he falls in. He says you've got to jump, what and he gets hit by. Hell? You've got to duck, hey, and you've got to you get hit a... by this like Jennifer? big spiky thing. And he goes, "I'm okay. The spikes broke my fall." Oh dear, Jennifer's disappeared again. Well, I don't know if that's supposed to be a reference to that or not, but that's just funny. Jennifer, I need some help. Martin. It is you! Why is that a DeLorean? It is indeed. Uh, well, yeah, it's a DeLorean. What else would it be? How the hell did it get into the billboard like that? Uh, never mind that. Just give me a hand, okay? Okay, that's not funny. So who are you supposed to be? Luke or Bo? This isn't funny, Jennifer. She's changed. Jennifer, you look so... Different. That's the general idea of being a non-conformist. That's not what I meant. What are you getting at? Your attitude What's is What's with the attitude? I'm not having this argument again. You've argued about this before? I'm guessing you won the argument. Never mind. I gotta get out of this car. Good idea. What's the date? Oh, man. What's the date? What? That's something I should be asking you. You've probably wrecked your head. Just, what's the date, Jennifer? It's the 15th. The year? 1986, duh. Oh dear. Oh man, oh man, this can't be happening. It is. What are you doing down there? Not that you'd ever understand it, but I'm doing my part to support the arts in Hill Valley. Anyway, what's the technical term for attempting to jump your DeLorean through a billboard? Where did you even get a DeLorean? Is it stolen? That's a little complicated. I bet. 
Can you help me down? Why don't you just jump? I'll break my neck. And? Yeah. You got any rope you can toss me? Uh-uh. All I have is this rusty wrench thing I found in the dirt. Interesting. I think it's a good one. I think that'll do. Toss it here. Oh, back off, Martin. This is my whatchamacallit. Stop what calling me mine. What do you give me for it? All right. Don't strain your brain, Geekzilla. Stop. Okay, that's really peeing me off. Sorry about that. Just keep calling me that, and that's starting to. Oof. Jennifer. What? May I please have the tire iron? The tire who? The big metal thing you're holding. Oh right. As soon as you offer up a decent trade. Oh. All right. Call me geeks a little ho. You I am. Jennifer. This is all I got. Is there anything in it? Give me here. Uh, it smells like armpits and booze. Irving Kid Tannen, the gangster? Where the yeah. hell did you get this? It's a long story. Can I just have the tire iron now? Heads up! Thanks! Oh, great. Now what? Oops. Oh. Well, your dorkness, my debt to society is paid. As for you, good luck with your car. Way to stick it to Big Brother. Just don't expect your sudden cry for attention to change anything between us, dig? Doesn't change what? Look, Jennifer, I think there are some things we need to talk about. Hey, maybe you can give me a lift into town. Oh, sure, Martin. Climb on in. Oh, Jennifer, wait! I told you, we're through, McFly. I'll never dig such a square again. My own girlfriend thinks I'm a square? Okay, she's... Uh, Jesus, she's could this stinks. get any worse? Yeah, things can get worse. Oh, oh, oh. A lot worse. I could really use your help right about now. Oh dear. Stop me from the wrong way. You know him. Okay, good. This could be useful. Now think, Marty, think. No, we need to... It wasn't... I've just realized it said Rick DeLore in the but it wasn't... Dead. May 15th, 1986. Yeah, the, the date's right, but... That's not good. Oh. Ah, pardon me. Held in 2015 with the Mr. Fusion. Oh. Still has plenty of juice. So there we go. Uh, welcome, folks. Welcome back to a Let's Play Back to the Future game. Uh, I'm on a gun games, of course, and number one is free now. Today, I actually have a guest with me. If you'd like to introduce yourself. Hey, guys, it's Cal Man here today, helping Gone with his uh, Let's Play commentary. I thought I'd give Cal a chance because he's a big Back to the Future fan like me, and I might be able to see some of the references. Uh, if I'm, I can't remember what I'm supposed to do here. No, I always press the wrong button with that. I think uh, this is the tire iron we need. This tire iron looks really familiar. Yeah, it does. Just like the it? one I used on the paddy wagon's wheel. Did you? I actually noticed that. I always like I said in the last episode. I wondered where kid, where you know, like kids' gun reappeared after the first episode. It kind of went into the desert. Yeah, didn't I remember doing your like, your past episode. Yeah. Right. yeah. You, you do make a okay, good. There this could be useful. There's some games think, you have. Think, Marty. You know. Think. 
misconceptions and all that, so it just kind of goes off all weird and just has weird stuff yeah, I mean, goes disappearing. That is, I mean, that's another thing I noticed when I started this episode. It actually said Rick DeLorean before. I actually, I actually were wrecked when it was still stuck in the sign. The thing is, right? Have you noticed that it's literally stuck in the ground, volts. the front Wait, part of the car? Is yeah, the you car in the ground. You can't even it's see where it's stuck. It's been installed in 2015 with the Mister Fusion. Still has I mean, plenty of juice. There's a part in the road that can literally fit into it. I know. I mean, you'd, also another thing, you'd think the people of the town would hear a giant car smashing or a flying car. Stop pressing the hint button. Yeah, I mean, it depends on how far this barrier is, don't you think? Oh, this yeah. barrier could be quite far out. It's it could be as far as Clayton Ravine. Oh yeah, there's that. No, technically that wouldn't. No, yes, it would actually, because technically that would be in this timeline because Doc didn't actually go back. When exactly. New York didn't you start any of this, yeah, that'd be yeah, right. The time was a race of Clayton Ravine wouldn't exist and he wouldn't Let's have been there. Let's see here. He would have been He would have before, but at this point he hasn't met him. That's, one, he that's, that's one thing I question. How is the Lord still in the timeline if you know, he never built it? I always question that. But you gotta love the whole concept of the Sears right. and Brown symbol. I mean, you gotta look yeah. at the fact it looks like it looks capacitor. It reflects capacitor. Yeah, it does. Okay, so Doc, given the idea, what kind of nightmare alternate happened. timeline have landed in this time? Yeah, yeah. we did. <laughs> sorry about that. I'm gonna knock you in here. You can't. Okay, sorry. No key on there. Sorry about that, folks. No key. Yeah, you do get a trophy, but it's a star related one where uh, basically you're just getting into Halo Valley. You're gonna, I hate the idea of the whole uh, Citizen Brown idea of the future is all misconceived and just messed up in its own right. Yeah, just because, just because of one woman. Well, Evil. it's just because Emmett finally decided, you know, he liked this woman. I mean, how was it supposed to continue this woman? How would you, how would you, you know, obviously it's going to cut off at some point, but it did. It was an interesting concept, I think. This. But the one thing I'm going to love about Anne Strickland is that she's technically a character from, she's related to one of the characters from the very beginning, but she's completely new. She was never in the films, but her brother was. It's the principal really, of the school. You actually see, I think you see her brother still bald when he was like something like three in the first episode as well, where he was got his mother's clothes on or something yeah. like that. That was pretty cool. Uh, it's just references. I mean, the whole game is so okay, full Marty. of them. Nothing clock, to be though. afraid of. It's just you probably can't hear that clock. That clock is so loud. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. And it always scares Danny. It doesn't mean it's yeah, really Danny, we're uh, oh, just biker mentioned biker we're current current list the day before we go to Comic Con as well. So just Comic Con take a deep breath and remember, we gotta find Doc. Yeah, I've got to find Doc. There's not gonna be no Biff clones. Okay, so Saddle replies playing Seven Days Today. I thank you for that. Hi. Yo, I, was, I, wonder, I always wanted to know, I mean, what happened to the cars? Why are they always using golf carts? A bit of lag like there. Yeah, a bit of lag like there again. Oh, oh, look at him, look at him. So I so can't, funny. it looks like some kind of super villain I've seen before. I can't place it. Judge, it looks, he looks like Judge Doom from Roger Rabbit there in that poster. I was just going to say about the glasses, it looks like super. It looks kind of like Judge Doom though, doesn't it? I mean, and funnily enough, Chris Floyd actually did play Judge Doom in uh, Roger Rabbit. Interesting. Very. He also played Spooks Blade Sam and Dennis. He was saying, a sunny this, that, and them to a black teacher I've ever seen. I don't know, of course. I've got to realize how bad would it be if society was actually like this? You would have to see all the street rules, you have to wear uniforms, you would literally have to be trapped in your own hotel. It's like a nightmare thing. It's like it's so, school rules so put to real life. I think I don't get it. There's only one instance. In, well, there's a few instances in the game where uh, Michael Fly actually changes clothes, but he Good always morning, citizen. Good morning to you too, citizen. I can cut it out, don't worry. Oh, 